Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is the Vulcan. Uh, right now you're looking at a uh, chart of the silver futures contract. This is the continuous silver futures contract. As you can see, the silver market has been overbought for some time. Uh, hence the, 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 uh, the OB symbol here, overbought. Uh, however, it is not giving us a, um, a sell signal. It's just telling us that the market tends to uh, have um, extreme bullish tendencies. We're trading well above the, uh, the the bullish Kumo cloud here, as you can see. And we have decent support at this blue line here. And secondary support is at this red line right here. So we're doing pretty good on the silver. You can expect a pullback to the $23 range and then again the next support is at $22 and if it continues in cascades then we'll get down into the cloud where we have support at uh, the $18.50 to $19 range so that's where we are um, on the silver I don't really see silver getting that low and I don't see it pulling back into the cloud to be quite honest with you I see it continuing to um, to rally uh, even after it pulls back a bit, as you can take a look at what we've done historically, where we we have these um, these high overbought readings here, then the market pulls back somewhat, gives it a breather, rally, pull back, rally, rally again, and then we gap up and rally some more. So that's what we anticipate here. So just uh, taking a, a quick glance at the actual technicals in the system here. Uh, based on Friday, we closed down 14.5 cents or down 0.59%. Prices closed higher than they opened with strong bids going into the close. This is generally considered bullish as prices close significantly higher than they open. Uh, if this candle appears when prices are low, it may be the first sign of a bottom, which is not the case here. It uh, occurs when prices are rebounding off of a support area, as we talked about earlier. And this, um, the length of this particular candle adds credibility to the support. Uh, in addition to that, the candle appears uh, during a breakout above a resistance area. The, this, uh, ty this type of uh, formation adds credibility to the breakout. So we are basically saying that we, we believe the prices will probably continue to go up in the near term. Uh, this, is cons this can be classified as what is called a falling window. And that's where the bottom of the previous shadow uh, is above the top of the current shadow. This usually implies a continuation of a bearish trend. And there have been eight falling windows in the last 50 trading sessions. And this makes the current falling window even more bearish in the near term. As you look at some of the other um, indicators here, as we look at uh, market sentiment, uh, we have a pulse scan reading of 44.94 and uh, the market pulse is positive since it is trading above the zero signal line and as you know the pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX creating an uptrend channel as of one period ago and the swing VIX is above 39 this is where it usually tops now the swing VIX usually forms tops and bottoms before the underlying security and those of you who have been following the Vulcan report for some time you know that the uh, the pulse scan and the swing VIX usually lead the market three to five days out. Um, the last signal was an overbought sell 48 periods ago, and since the last swing VIX signal, silver's price has decreased only 0.59 percent, and it ranged from a high of $24.41 to a low of $24.07. Uh, currently, the trend is very bullish, and silver is being heavily accumulated and the strength of the trend remains very strong. As far as trend line retracements, we went over that. Uh, you have your first support at $23.31. Your second support after that is at $20.65, then $19.62, and $18.03. Okay, so those are your uh, key support areas to watch as silver prices pull back. All right, continuing on now, looking at the weekly pulse wave projections for silver. Well, we're trading above both of them. So we will probably anticipate a pullback 
in the next couple of days, but not significant enough to get us beyond those key levels of support. Our monthly price projections uh, remain the same. The bull market uptrend 12 to 18 month price target for silver remains at $34.01 an ounce. The long term trend line resistance is currently at uh, $24.41, which we are already uh, above that. Um, our long term trend line support is currently at $19.62. So based on Friday's close, we pulled back below the 2441. So we're probably going to oscillate somewhere between the 2441 and $19.62 an ounce for silver. All right, taking a look at the longer term price projections for silver. Uh, our bubble phase one, which we're nowhere near that yet. Uh, 24 to 36 month price target outlook for silver is at $43.60 an ounce. If we hit frenzy mode, that means we'll hit a bubble phase two, which is very rare. But that's at $53.19 an ounce. And if we get really crazy, when we hit the tulip bulb type craze, uh, where crashes are usually imminent, uh, and fo immediately following, uh, that's our bubble phase three, 72 month plus outlook for silver. And that price target is around $62.79 an ounce. Okay? As for volatility, uh, we closed below the upper band by 5.9% on Friday. This combined with the steep uptrend suggests that the upward trend in prices has a good chance of continuing. However, a short-term pullback inside the bands is likely, which is what we just finished discussing on silver. So there you have it. All right, taking a look now here at the gold futures. Um, we're going to take a look at the readings as of Friday's close. As you can see, we closed down $5.60, or down 0.41% as prices closed below, uh, lower than they open, with weak bids going into the close. We have an engulfing bearish line occurrence, and that's where a black candle's real body completely contains the previous white candle's real body. Black candle meaning a down day, white candle meaning an up day. Uh, the engulfing bearish pattern is bearish during an uptrend, which appears to be the case with gold, as anyone who's been not hiding under a rock can see that gold prices have been going up for a long time. Uh, it then signifies that the momentum may be shifting from the bulls to the bears in the, in the short term. The engulfing bearish pattern occurs during a downtrend, and, and when that happens, it may be the last engulfing bottom, which indicates a bullish reversal. Now, the test to see if this is the case, if, if the next candle closes above the bottom, the current black candle's real body. So we'll see where we close for Monday's trading on the gold. We have a pulse scan reading of 37.95. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above the zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed bo uh, above the swing VIX, creating an uptrend channel as of one period ago. The swing VIX is above 29. This is where it usually forms resistance. The swing VIX usually forms resistance before the underlying security. As we talked about, um, the post scan swing VIX leads the market three to five days out. The last signal was an overbought sell six periods ago. And since the last swing VIX signal, gold's price has decreased only 0.41%. And it's ranged from a high of 1383.90 to a low of 1364.70. Currently, the trend is very bullish. Gold is being heavily accumulated, and the trend strength is very strong and bullish indeed. First line of support is at 1349.29. Your second support is going to be at 1274.70. Third support will be at 1185.35, and your fourth support will be at 1161.77. As far as weekly price projections for uh, for gold, we're trading above them. So we take a look at our monthly price projection targets. And the 12 to 18 month price target for gold is at $1,781 an ounce. The long term trend line resistance is currently at $1,383.90. And we close below that on Friday. The long term trend line support is at $1,185.35. Taking a look at our monthly price projection outlook. Uh, for the gold 
to continue in this trend we have our bubble phase one 24 to 36 month price target at two thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars and ten cents an ounce our phase two looking at forty two to sixty month price target is at two thousand five hundred and seventy five dollars and twenty cents an ounce and if we hit that tulip craze then we're looking at two thousand nine hundred and seventy two dollars and thirty cents an ounce uh, within the next seventy two months or so <coughs> excuse me so those are our price targets long term on the gold if this uh, bullish trend continues as of friday we close below the um, the upper volatility band by ten point nine percent this combined with the steep uptrend suggests that the upward trend in price has a good chance of continuing however we do expect a short term pullback inside the bands and that's very likely so there you have it on gold and silver one other note <coughs> excuse me you see here we got a uh, negative swing VIX on the uh, October the 7th we got no follow through in the market we got our, we had one on uh, September the 21st no follow through in the market we had one on September the 1st and then we also had one on September the 10th and no follow through so each time we get one of these uh, sell signals we get no follow through now we have had one two three four five so far with absolutely no pullback whatsoever no follow through to the downside so when and if we do get some follow through on the next sell signal we'll have to really watch the support areas because it could be a significant pullback even reaching to inside of the Kumo cloud and that will give us support at the 1200 area so that would be quite the pullback okay so just wanted to give everyone the heads up on that one we're looking at a possible um, huge pullback here if uh, if that if that were to occur all right so forewarned is forearmed all right be encouraged remember to take what you can and give nothing back and don't forget to visit us at pulsecan.blogspot.com that's where you will be able to find the interactive spreadsheet with all the pulse wave projections on it on the, you know, the weekly pulse, pulse, uh, pulse wave projections and also visit us on the live uh, chat during uh, regular uh, market hours alright be encouraged and peace out